What's going on guys, Sertavinci here with another video, and this time we're playing something a little different. This is Dead Frontier 2, uh, the sequel to a MMO zombie survival horror game uh, that came out quite a while ago. I played a little bit during my childhood a little bit. Not super old, but uh, this is the sequel which just recently came out a couple days ago. Um, it is now third person, it is free on Steam for anyone who's interested in getting it, uh, and obviously this is for the people who have already gotten it. Um, but yeah. So this video is going to be a quick tip guide, like a pro strat on melee combat. So um, in Dead Frontier 1, the meta was basically, at least for me, uh, from what I noticed, was kind of just circling around a zombie and continuously hitting it with your melee weapon, and they just couldn't hit you. So in this game, uh, the way the me melee combat works is you have an animation that you go into when you hit the action to do melee. So you left click, you swing, and you're stuck in that animation until then. Uh, right click is a quicker attack. You get out of the animation a little quicker, but it kind of has a further, you thrust further a little bit for, for, further. Uh, uh, you thrust forward a little bit further. So what I'm gonna show you is a quick tip that'll make it a hell of a lot easier and safer in melee. So typically when you melee, you swing and you, it puts you in a situation where you're closer to the zombie than you wanna be. There is knockback in melee combat, so when you hit a zombie, they will get pushed back. I will show you. you hit them. And there is a distance between them. I have some skills that increase that distance, so it's not as dangerous for me personally. Uh, we're going to take this zombie out because there's another one that's jumping into our tutorial here. But uh, the way I want to show you that I have learned uh, to take on melee combat, to keep it safer, keep your distance away from the zombies so that they cannot retaliate you, whether you miss them or hit them or what, um, basically, it's as simple as this. When you go to swing, you're stuck in the animation, but you can still turn. So, when you swing, if you turn, you can change yourself, turn yourself 180 degrees, and your momentum will carry in the opposite direction from the zombie. So for this one, hit, turn, and now we're further away from the zombie. We can take a, our time to get some distance away from them before we go in for the next swing. Do it again, and we're further away. Same thing, we miss, now we're near him. And if you do this, now we're further away. And we don't have to worry about potentially getting hit by them. Uh, this really only helps early on. There are, ends up become having zombies that run at you and stuff like that. Might not help as much against them. But, you know, swing, hit, turn, get that distance from them. I know she died, but that is my quick tip uh, pro strat uh, meta for melee combat. Um, honestly, if you guys start using it yourself, you'll realize how helpful it actually is. Uh, I didn't notice it until uh, a bit longer forward on into my melee combat, and obviously using melee saves ammo, especially early on, that it's extremely helpful. Or if you're in for far in a building or a dungeon or something like that, and you don't really have a chance at coming back to the department, you use your stash, get some more ammo, then... It's obviously having a backup melee weapon, and the best way to use that melee weapon is going to be extremely helpful in those situations. So, there's a quick short video showing you guys that quick tip on how what I've learned and uh, end up helping me uh, in finding the fact that melee combat is actually a lot more useful than it might seem to be for you guys who haven't been using this strategy. Uh, and hopefully it'll help you guys out. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I can... Uh, get some other tutorial videos out there kind of showcasing some other quick tips that'll help you guys out in surviving because this is not necessarily the easiest game out there. I ran into plenty of players who were struggling. I gave them some supplies to get by, but it, it, it really comes down to just learning the basics of the game and learning how the game works because otherwise, if you just rush in, swing in your weapon continuously, frantically, here, I'll show you really quick. You know, I just keep swinging, just keep spamming the swing. Look how close I am. That zombie could have hit me in the time before my next swing because the swing is actually pretty slow with this weapon. Um, but, you know, just trying to help you guys out. Any help I can give, keep this community nice and fresh and, and helpful instead of becoming toxic like others. I would love to help out in that way. So, like I said, hopefully this helped you guys out. Look forward to any future guides to help you guys out. Probably not going to do a full-length guide. Uh, because I'm terrible at keeping videos short. Uh, so I'll probably break it up into individual videos rather than just ranting on about a bunch of different crap in the same video. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.